Kelly Clarkson, 41, has fronted her titular daytime talk show since 2019 putting emphasis on making every day a great day. However, a report published by the Rolling Stone on Friday saw employees claiming that working on the show deteriorated their mental health as they felt bullied, intimidated and overworked. The American Idol winner has now spoken out about the allegations, although the insiders had noted they were confident she was unaware of the situation with one declaring they would be shocked if she knew. Taking to Instagram today, Kelly shared a lengthy declaration, In my 20 years in the entertainment industry, I've always led with my heart and what I believe to be right. I love my team at The Kelly Clarkson Show, and to find out that anyone is feeling unheard and or disrespected on this show is unacceptable. I have always been, and will continue to be, committed to creating and maintaining a safe and healthy environment at The Kelly Clarkson Show. As we prepare for a move to the East Coast I am more committed than ever to ensuring that not only our team that is moving, but also our new team in NY, is comprised of the best and kindest in the business. Part of that build will include leadership training for all of the senior staff, including myself. There is always room to grow and ensure we are all being slash becoming the best version of ourselves in any business, especially when it comes to leadership, to ensure that any notion of toxicity is eradicated. Don't miss! Philip Schofield feels betrayed as he confronts Holly Willoughby in phone call, reaction, Philip Schofield's statement means he's possessive of Holly, expert claims, insight, Melanie Sykes looking for older man capable of matching her high sex drive, latest, the bombshell report by the Rolling Stone included one current employee and ten former employees. One insider, who has worked on other daytime shows, claimed, all these daytime shows are supposed to make you feel good and be happy. Kelly uses a sign off, make it a great day, and if it's not great, change it. But it's hard to exist and work in a machine that's pumping out this happy, bubbly, positive messaging, when, you have people here who are just treated badly. Another recalled, I remember going up on the roof of the stage to cry, being like, oh, my gosh, what am I doing? Why am I putting myself through this?